Um, Jesse, awesome game over the weekend. Was that one a little bit too close for comfort there at the end? Um, yeah, it was a little bit stressful uh, towards the end. I wasn't sure if we'd have to um, go to Golden Point or anything like that. Um, but no, it was a good win, good gritty win in the end. Um, that little grubber that got through to Tamika, were you, I mean, what was that feeling like when you saw her put it sort of down and we just thankful that that happened, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. She was um, she was calling for it pretty early, so she, you can actually see her point with her arm. So, um, yeah, full credit to Meeks there. She's She did an outstanding job there and, um, yeah, thankfully just got it in the right spot at the right time and, um, yeah, full credit to her. But the, the intensity of the game was there throughout, I suppose, when Canberra got on the board early. What were you guys thinking and how far did you have to dig deep to, you know, come back and, and get that score back? Um, I was kind of just thinking we hadn't had the ball yet. Um, we They had kind of just attacked the entire first 10 minutes. And, um, yeah, I, we, you could kind of feel that once we got the ball, we'd, um, we'd be able to yeah, score some points. So, yeah. It was, um, it's only their second season, obviously. They had a pretty good, you know, debut season last year. Have you noticed an improvement even in them just in this off-season and when you guys last played them last year? Definitely. We actually played them in a trial in Wagga and um, they were a completely different team on the weekend. Um, their defence was um, outstanding. You know, it, it took a lot for us to score points. Um, their attack, once again, was like from end to end. So, and they could score from anywhere. So they, um, yeah, they did a great job and they're improving week to week, even from the first round to, you know, versing us. A lot of people like to say that people have their first, their best game against us. So, um, yeah, they've, they've improved out of sight and they're a great side and they'll be they'll be one to watch later in the season. That's an interesting line, I suppose. How do you guys take that, you know, um, people having their best game against you? What do you is that like a, a privilege? Is that sort of an honour or, yeah, how do you sort of take that? Um, yeah, I think the girls kind of like it. We embrace it and, um, yeah, we just, we like playing good footy and, you know, it's, um, it's still early on in the season and we like playing, um, you know, tough games. Hopefully we don't have to make it so close. Um, but, you know, we do like playing tough footy and that's just kind of the night's way. What was the, um, I guess, biggest focus out of the Brewster's game into the Canberra game and what did you think you did do better? Um, I think we actually controlled the ball a lot better than um, in the Roosters game. Um, we kind of didn't really get out of our end in the Roosters game. We played a lot of, you know, get out footy. Um, whereas in the Canberra game, we did actually get to attack them and attack their line. So I think we did, our, our middles, once again, they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job in the Roosters game, but they just went above and beyond in that game um, against the Raiders and they really took the battle um, head on. So, yeah, full credit to the, to the middles. They did a great job. What about going into your next game? What do you take from the Raiders into the Dragons? Um, I think there's a lot to improve on, um, us as individuals and then as a team. I think we've got um, a lot to improve on attack-wise. We can um, we can definitely, um, there's a lot more points in us, I think. Um, but yeah, even defensively, I think you can see that we, we didn't control the ruck as much as we wanted to and as much as we needed to, but um, that just happens in footy and um, sometimes you lose the ruck and sometimes you win it. Um, sometimes it's up to the ref's discretion, you just never know. Um, but yeah, no, I think we've got a lot to improve on, but we're just looking forward to, to playing the Dragons. You mentioned um, individually, were there certain things you worked on in the off-season um, to be improved for this year? And and is it good having Ben, who's also a halfback, um, helping you? Um, yeah, BJ's brought a different approach to everyone, not just me. Um, I think he's definitely one of the most different coaches I've ever had. Um, but yeah, he's great for everyone. And um, I think it's more of a team effort. You know, we we all learn a lot from each other. Like I learn a lot from our wingers. I learn a lot from our back rowers. So um, yeah, I think we learn a lot from each other and that's just, that's just what happens. I think in the women's game, it's still pretty, pretty new and it's still in its infancy. So I think we learn a lot from each other and a lot from, you know, the men's game. So um, yeah, just looking forward to, you know, learning a lot from lots of different people and lots of different, you know, sports and stuff like that. What do you think of Lillian's um, debut and, and how good is it to see players, I guess, coming through the pathway here in Newcastle? I thought it was so good. It was so good to watch her out there. Um, we used to play against each other. She'd play for Roman Terrace and um, I'd play for West and even in schools and stuff like that, we played a lot of footy against each other and um, <laughs> we actually never played with each other. This That was our first, first game playing together on the weekend and um, 
it was a lot better playing with each other than against each other. We used to have a bit of a rivalry and um, it even happened with our, with our parents sometimes. I think they'd go at each other, but um, yeah, it was, it was good to be on the same team this time and she did an outstanding job and you can just see what happens with Newcastle Juniors. We've got a lot of talent here in the Hunter and, um, you know, Lily was, she was another example of how good the Hunter kids are. You mentioned, Ben, it was really different to coaches that you've had. Can you explain that a bit more? In what way do you mean? Um, he takes a very, I think it's analytical approach to, to footy. Um, he's very stats-like. Um, he loves his stats and he'll have a stat sheet, you know, the day after we play. So, um, yeah, that's different to anything I've ever had before. Normally, you know, coming through the ranks, you don't really have people that, you don't really have stats coming through the ranks. So, um, yeah, it's, it's very different. Um, but, look, I think it's good for some people and then for others it's, it's more just like, you know, we're just here to play footy and here to have some fun. So, but yeah, it's it's good. It's it's good a good experience for everyone. And there's been so much talk about being the hunter this season. <clears throat> but do you also feel that, in a way, I guess that recent success and that winning streak is giving the team quite a bit of self confidence and self belief to get through those tough games like the weekend? Yeah, definitely. Um, the girls. They, I don't think we want to lose. That's just what it comes down to. We we don't really like losing. I'm not. Sure, I don't think anyone likes losing, but this group, especially like Yaz and our leaders, we we can't stand losing. Like it's, there's probably nothing worse than losing for this group. So um, yeah, we kind of just do what any, anything we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. And you can see that out there. Um, we are a very cohesive group, and like we work together a lot. Um, and we spend a lot of time together too. I think all the teams do at this time of year. So it's just, um, yeah, it's good to see that it's working out there defensively. Hopefully hopefully we can get it going in attack. Just on the um, home home game this weekend, doubleheader playing after the men, how um, excited or how are you feeling, I guess, knowing it's probably going to be another full house and, um, yeah, you'll be playing, playing there as well in front of a huge Newcastle crowd? Yeah, so excited. Um, I think we're all excited just to get back home, have a bit of a crowd and um, yeah, can't wait to play after the boys. Hopefully they can they can get a win and hopefully we can too. But um, yeah, like I think the Cup boys are playing before the, the NRL boys too. So triple header there and um, yeah, hopefully Newcastle can turn out for us.